Hey folks, Larry Smith here. Uh, I haven't uh, talked to you guys in probably almost a year now, uh, but and probably better off that way, but I'm back. Um, ran across a situation yesterday that I uh, felt we should share with everybody. Uh, noticed some trees that were suffering in the landscape, uh, weren't doing well, and really should be doing better because they really are super hardy. Uh, even though we had a really bad winter, these guys shouldn't be doing as bad as they are. As you can see, there's just a few leaves on it. Uh, it's struggling to put a few more out. Uh, so I started digging in and, and looking a little bit deeper. So if you come on in, if you take a look uh, at, at this hole that I, I kind of dug by hand a little bit, uh, you'll notice that, that here's the, the, the surface of the soil as it was. A little bit of mulch that, that was, was planted around up against the, the trunk which isn't, isn't a big deal. The bigger deal is the fact that there's actually about three inches or so of soil planted on top of the nursery ball. Okay, that's three, three more inches that shouldn't be there. Uh, that just buries the plant even more. Then on top of that, when I kept digging, I found these roots that were coming up and noticed that, that they were all going the wrong direction. They're all coming from the bottom up. So I kept digging down and I found that about eight inches below surface was the first actual root coming off of this trunk. Right, right down in here, underneath, underneath where the end of this tape measure is. So you'll notice all of these roots are coming up from the bottom. And what that means in, a, in, in plant physiology terms is that they need oxygen. They have to breathe just like everybody else does. The roots have to breathe, so they have to get to the, to the oxygen, and they can't get any oxygen when they're 10, 12, 15 inches in the ground. They got to they gotta start reaching up, which is why you'll see a lot of trees that are suffering. You'll notice uh, a lot of trees that are suffering, and you have an, a heavy mulch layer. If you start digging in the mulch, there's all kinds of roots in there. That's because those trees are, are suffocating, and they're getting up into the mulch, putting roots up there so they can get oxygen. Um, Anyways, long story short, we need to not plant trees too deep. We need to plant trees too shallow. And if we plant them too shallow, more than likely, they might look a little funny to start with, but they'll survive and they'll be happy and they'll grow. And that's what we want. 